Yeah, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. I want to welcome you guys to an NBA 2K22 video. So today we're going to be talking about the season news from NBA 2K. Now, I'm not sure if you guys know, but NBA 2K has been very calculated about their uh, news rollout. I'm guessing they had a couple internal things that they had talked about and they have released uh, actual dates or week spans when they'll be dropping news. So the first week was supposed to be this week. Now, of course, you know me, man. I'm always trolling. Um, I posted on Twitter, you know what I mean? The, 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 the Judge Judy time clock, you know, let them know, yo, it's 10 in the morning, man. Where the news at? So they finally released the news for seasons and I want to actually talk to y'all about it. But before before we actually get into the video, I want y'all to actually leave a comment and tell me what y'all think Seasons is going to be all about before we deep dive into it. And also, make sure you guys hit that like button. Appreciate all the love on the last video, the one where Mike Wayne let some tweets fly about keeping a 99 overall. Um, actually, the shot aiming is gone and things of that nature. So if you missed that video, you can go check that out. It's probably going to be in a, a pin or something above or in the description. But let's hop into the Seasons, y'all. All right, so um, 2K tweeted this out at 11 a.m. So keep that keep that actual hour in mind. This is 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. It says seasons is expanding NBA 2K22. Season one called to ball will run across my career. Okay, uh, my team and the W starting on 2K day September 10th. All right, so I'm guessing that all seasons will be running in. I guess cahoots with each other. Uh, look out for new season uh, every six weeks uh, featuring new content and rewards that you can unlock at no cost. Now, the name that they use, Seasons, I'm not sure if anybody remembers my NBA 2K21 wish list video, but in that video, I told 2K that they need to start coming out with seasonal content. Now, trust me, what they're doing isn't what I had uh, asked for. But I guess it's an iteration of it to try to keep the game fresh throughout the year of their one year uh, term, right? Now, in my video for my wish list, what I wanted them to do was make their game more like a Fortnite or a Call of Duty Warzone where they drop a base game and that game test the span of time of like a four year term where they drop new content within that game update within that game so they don't have to worry about a dev cycle for a new iteration the next year and i wanted them to do a seasonal thing whereas though let's say 2k uh 22 would be 2021 to 2022 season and then they would just in that season come out with fresh new content new roster stuff like that and then when the next season started 2002 to 2023 they'll change the logo of the game you know what i mean like how fortnite and all of those games come up with season passes battle passes stuff like that but let's see what they did now from this picture it says October 2nd is season two. Uh, Call the ball uh, is, uh, I guess, September 10th when the game drop. Then season three is December 3rd. Uh, season four, January, uh, February, April, uh, May, July. So, I mean, let's see what happens, man. Let's go ahead and read the document. Um, let's go ahead and go to the website. So, uh, NBA 2K22 seasons pre-launch course I report. NBA 2K has transformed through the years and we're thrilled to share the strides being made in NBA 2K22. Seasons will be a primary focus in NBA 2K22 and all rewards will be able to redeem at no additional cost once players uh, reach each new season level. So I'm guessing what they're saying is this is not a battle pass that you have to buy, but something that's just in game for free that gives you something to look forward to within that next six week span of that month right um because the way you look at it september 10th is when the game drops four weeks from that is probably going to be like october 10th or something like that so they'll probably drop something maybe late october like right before halloween if, if i'm thinking about my six weeks the right way but um let's go ahead uh 
NBA 2K21, they introduced seasons as an all way, all new way to level up and earn rewards within my team, and they're expanding it um, even further in NBA 2K22. So seasons will play an important role throughout NBA 2K22, whether it's my career, my team, or the W. So they are bringing back the W, and they're bringing more content to the W. And from what I remember, Chase, Trey, and uh, Raunchy said that the W was actually a W. So um, I'll probably be looking into that. Um, explore all there is to do in the city on um, PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and the neighborhood PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. So it looks like seasons will be for both. Um, there won't be a disconnect, so everybody will be able to get it on one accord. Um, leveling up will earn you more rewards, which are refreshed every six weeks um, at the start of a new season. All year long, seasons will offer fresh new content for you to enjoy. NBA 2K22 is focused on giving you more ways to progress, more ways to compete, and more content. Um, we can't wait for you to experience all that NBA 2K22 has to offer. So without further ado, here are some of the features to watch for when the NBA 2K22 launches. All right, so I can't see this image, so we're going to open it up in a new tab real quick. Let me go ahead and um, get this up. Okay, so earning XP in my career seasons. Um, play and earn new rewards with seasons, including 40 levels with new apparel, name banners, transport, and more to unlock. Um, how to earn XP, city slash neighborhood games, rec, pro-am, events, and completing quests. All right, so it's looking like 2K is ready to start rolling out content without us having to pay for it uh, via VC. Now... It does say earning XP. So is VC gone or will VC still be there? And XP is just something for season. So now will we go back to two different variations? Because if you guys remember, you know, almost 10 years ago, NBA had SP and then they switched over to VC and it was just it was a clusterfuck. So hopefully um, they do it the right way. Hopefully XP is just for the season stuff and VC is just for, you know, the, the regular old nonsense. All right. Um, let's see. Last year, seasons were exclusive to my team, but not anymore. Blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. We already know that grand prize each season. So let's go ahead and open up this image right here. This is looking like looking like a little W. Hold on. Inline skates. Now, if you go, if you guys are gonna have inline skates, now don't don't mess up us classic people. I still wear roller skates, so don't make me go upstairs to get my roller skates. So if you got inline skates, you better have roller skates. You can't, you know what I'm saying, can't do it without that. But uh, let's see, two two XP coin one hour, so double XP. Is two K stepping away from VC or am I tripping? Um, and a two-way mid-range facilitator looks like that build is still going to be in the game. It looks like the Wildcats will still be in the game. So all affiliations, as well as some of the builds from last year, will definitely still be in the game. Um, 60 overall looks like you're still the overall that you start out with. Um, and level one, I guess, is the entry level to seasons that I see. Um, call to ball backpack. Um, I guess that's cool. Everybody get a little backpack. That's level 29, by the way. Um, I do like the inline skates. Now, peep this. Something that I've never seen before. Uh, a, a NBA 2K sleeve that gives you plus one to mid-range. Hmm. Hmm. Now, funny thing. A person like me, a person that's really about the the overall experience of the game i'm the type of person that would definitely go in make a bullcrap player like don't even care about the builder and just speed through and look at all the rewards of all the items like this sleeve here that gives you one plus mid range and then go back into the builder with that information and make my build around that so that when i do unlock this stuff at different seasons i can come through and get all of this gear and make my player the way i want to that that would probably be something crazy um, this is a lot of reading. Jesus Christ. Okay. Um, start your engine. Season one is set to take players for a ride. Unleash go karts in the city. Go karts and neighborhoods as the grand prize. You get a go kart. Go kart. Does it does it replace the jetpack? So many people talked about the jetpack for years. Does a go kart change the narrative? Um, fun way to cruise around and adventure through unexplored regions and will be available once you reach level 40. 
In addition, inline skates can be used as a mode of transportation once you crack level 30 threshold. Both rewards are available to you once you met the uh, level requirements. Each season, a new grand prize will be refreshing, become redeemable. It is a matter of whether you reach the finish line. I'm definitely going to be playing a lot of 2K sheesh um there will be plenty to explore to see within the neighborhood but we want a bro to broaden your horizons and more tropical destinations as well and that's for playstation 4 and all of that um they set sails in the caribbean season one uh yeah it's cruise ship yeah cool cool uh cool island courts okay um we will also be busy in the lab re-imaging uh or what is that reimagining what it means to be a legend okay so the ground of legend is still there um, and we think you're going to like what we've cooked up. The crown jewel for players in NBA 2K22 will be reaching legend status, but Hall of Fame careers aren't built overnight. Think about it. The Ghosts didn't earn that title because of one season. They built on their success for year after year, which makes it even more special. So to become a legend in NBA 2K22, you will need to reach level 40 in four different seasons. Now, that doesn't mean you have to do it consecutively, but to become an all-time great, you must put in the work to earn bragging rights. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> we got plenty of time to become legend, chat. We got plenty of fucking time to become a legend, you hear me? It's going to be easy work. I don't even need to go into this picture. NBA 2K beats and all that. That's cool. Uh, yeah. Another new aspect of Seasons is First Fridays in which uh, songs will be added. Uh, that's great. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's cool about music. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm a YouTuber. When I make YouTube content, I cannot play copyrighted music. So I will be turning off the track list as soon as the game drops. For everyone else, enjoy the ride. Um, my team... Yeah, don't care. But I do care about this, though. Let's talk about this real quick. Um, Now, they went to level 40, right? So uh, level 37 is a custom suit. Um, Two XP coin for two hours. So you get double XP for two hours. You get plus one badge point as a level up for XP. And at level 40, you get a new go-kart. So... For level four, for level 39 at one badge point, and the colors look different. The colors are no longer uh, bronze, silver, gold, and uh, purple no more. So you're saying that the, the, oh, no, no, no. Actually, it's defensive, playmaking, shooting, and uh, finishing. Okay, so I'm guessing you get one badge point to whatever category you want. And then I guess your badge point could probably go from gold to Hall of Fame, or maybe if you got like, let's say silver bailout and you want gold bailout, but you don't want to use all your extra points on that. You probably can use that um, level 39 drink. That's not bad. Uh, let's see. Uh, NBA 2K21. Yeah, we're not talking about that. We already heard that. Um, uh, familiar agendas while earning new rewards. On, uh, yeah, my team. Will, uh, all right. Anybody worried about that? Okay, the W. Is the W a W? Let's look at it. Um, the W play with friends, waiting for friends, um, call to the ball, hall of fame, Cynthia Cooper Dyke, Cheryl swoops, takeover perk picker. Okay. Gold 2k breakthrough gear, extra badge point, 3k VC, silver seasonal clothing bundle, nail polish and hundred VC. Oh snap. They got nail polish in the drink. Okay. Oh, they going crazy. All right. Let's see what else they got. Um, the W on Next Gen, all new game mode featuring the WNBA and my player experience. The W is NBA 2K was a prime moment. Continue building on NBA 2K22. Go toe to toe with the most uh, opposing my players online and earn new rewards such as VC clothing on those badges, nail polish, all of that. Okay, cool. Um, closing statement. Season one of NBA 2K22 will be filled with new ways to explore the city and the neighborhood, popular tracks and hits, fresh apparel, and more throughout the year. We can't wait for you to level up using XP and earn rewards on your way to becoming a legend. Um, you can experience it all starting September 10th. The W mode and related content is only available on PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X slash S only. 
And of course, they got uh, the course I report and all of that stuff for like the ratings. If you wanted to read that report. Hey, all in all, I think that seasons is a W. But like I said in the beginning of my uh, Mike Wang video, when he was talking about that, I don't feel like um, holding back dribble moves and stuff like that in animations is a good thing. Content. Is all you can always hold off content, you know what I mean? Whether you let them get uh spray ground this or uh the marathon clothing that and you know those badge points for the sleeves and the go karts and the inline skates, that's great. But I feel like holding back animations, you literally like you will hold down a meta and the game will change over time and stuff, but from a content standpoint, all of that stuff is supposed to be uh, what is the word I'm looking for? It is called cosmetic. So when you hold off animations and stuff like that to the way that we're supposed to play the game, it's like if you're playing Apex, why would you ever hold the ability to slide down the hill from somebody until they get to the next season? Or why would you be able to, uh, why would you hold back a certain, uh, let's say, let's say their special ability right let's say um for instance with bloodhound when he hits this thing he can trace people why would you hold that back a season as something that 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 player needs you know as a part of the way that they play so it's, it's kind of up in the air to me but i still think seasons will be a w and to be honest with you i will be on ps5 exclusively as long as i don't get hacked and i'm gonna have fun because I am a person that plays video games for Battle Pass types of vibes and things of that nature. So I'm real heavy in Apex Legends on my Facebook gaming uh, streaming page. I play Naraka Blade Point as well. That's a new PC game that just came out. Um, also, I, I just I love the Battle Pass vibe and I love to be able to get on a game and have something to look forward to as a goal to break the fold for something because I like to do a lot of tasks throughout the day. So um, I'm going to definitely be playing it. I hope that um, I see y'all there. Anybody that's on PS5, drop your um, PSNs in the comment section. I'm going to be looking for people to get uh, games in with. So if you want to join my Discord, that link is in the description as well. And um, I probably held you guys up too long, man. I will see y'all later. Peace.